Hi ladies and gents and welcome back to another tutorial from Guide Sideworks. Today what we're going to be looking at is a CSWA assembly um, practice test question. So this is what we're going to produ produce today. Um, it's effectively a bracket and a pin um, set up in an assembly process. However, we're going to have to model each component out first and then um, uh, assemble it together. Now, I've got some instructions here, so I'll just put them up to show you. So this is our question that we're given, and we're going to be working to. Um, so we've got a bracket here. We are asked to build the assembly um, containing the three brackets and two pins. And then we're given some information about each. Um, so we're told it's a two milli thick bracket. Um, the sizes are equal throughout material that we need to apply to it. Um, and the location of the notch in the bottom there is 20 mil from the top plate. We're then given some information about the pin. So it's a 5 mil long pin uh, with a diameter, in this case, of 10. Um, it's made out of a titanium of density 0.046 millimeters to the power of 3. Um, there's no clearance on the hole, so it's the same size as this hole here. Um, however, there is a one milli gap between each of the two brackets, which makes sense with the brackets being two milli thick and the uh, pin being five milli long. Um, uh, when we're positioning the brackets, we need to make sure that there is a 45 degree angle offset to each other, as shown here. Okay. Um, uh, we're then looking at finding the center mass of the assembly. And that will equate to one of these four um, below. So it's effectively a multiple choice question at the end. Is it A, B, C, or D? We should be able to find that by modeling it and, find, and completing the assembly. So let's run through this and see how we get on. OK, diving into the bracket. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick a plane that I can sketch up. So let's go for that. Um, I'm going to go for the right plane in this case here. In fact, no, I'm going to flip that and I'll go for the front plane. Okay, so let's sketch on that front plane um, and I'll sketch there. Now, the important part of this is where we start our sketch from. Now, if I just flip back to the document that we're working from here, um, we will see that um, to start our assembly, we need to make this component to the origin. So here we've got our X, our Z, and our Y moving through this bottom corner of our assembly. So we need to make sure that's where we start our sketch from. So let's go back to the model. So um, from my origin here, I'm going to create that bottom corner. So, sketch it. Put a line going across and up, like so. Okay. Now, this is going to be thirty. Across, and then we're going to be having thirty up as well. We have a little arc or a radius in this bottom corner, and that is three. So I'm going to put that on now. Change that to three. And I'm just going to click that bottom corner there. And we'll get our radius in there of three. And tick. OK, so at the moment, that's giving me my shape. I'm going to extrude that. Um, because I've just drawn it as a line, I'm going to need to use the fin feature. So if I go to extrude, Now it's picking up here the um, profile that I want uh, to extrude here. Um, however, at the moment it's giving me the thin or the thickness effectively of 10. Well, I want that to be 2. So we'll just put that on there like so. I'm going to flip the direction so that the 2 millimeters is inside the sketch rather than below it. And we've got that there. So this line here is our outer profile, and our model should be within that. 
the thickness or the length of this extrude coming across should then be 20 mil. So let's change that to 20 there, like so. And we can tick there, and we've got that shape of our bracket in place. Now we still have some inf some features to put onto this. We've got our cutout in the bottom corner, and our circle on that face, and then we've got the circle on this face. So let's add them in there. So I'm going to click on that back face. I'm going to sketch on that face. I'm just going to go and turn that such face on. I'm going to start off with a corner rectangle and go in this bottom corner here and just drag that across and then put some sizes to that. So this top line here is 20 mil down from the top of there. It's going to be 4 mil across. And it's going to be five mil down, it's like so. And that will define that sketch. Now, what we're also after is a circle uh, along this center line. So let's put a center line in down here, and I'm going to drop a circle onto this, and then we'll define its distance and size in a moment. So we know it's going to be ten mil diameter. So let's put the 10 in there and its distance is offset from the top of here down to the center of our circle of 10 like so now I'm just going to cut them through so I'm going to features cut I'm just going to go through all and take care so we've cut them out of that top face now what we need to do is cut them out of this face here. So sketch on there. However, on this face, um, I only have the circle. So again, I'm going to put in my center line down the center of that face. Circle in, and it's the same size. So we're going for a 10 mil circle, and it is 10 mil offset from this bottom edge, like so. Hopefully, and then if we can go to features and cut that through, and we're just going through all again, and get that cut out on there. Okay, so we've got them cutouts on. Uh, the last part to finish this uh, sketch off, this model off, is just to put some fillets on. And we've got four fillets to put on here, which are the corners. So I'm just going to change that to one. I'm going to click on this corner here. I'm going to see if it will come up with a prediction for what I want. It's not, it's not coming up for a prediction for what I want, so therefore I'm just going to click the other four corners. there and we get our fillets on our ends okay so last part of this is just applying that material so the material for the bracket is a alloy 661 alloy so let's right click on our materials edit our materials I'm going to go to find the alloys and I want a 661 alloy. There we go. Uh, it's got a density of 0 0.0027, which, if that was in uh, grams per millimeter cubed, it would be spot on. So apply that and close. Now we've got our bracket in place and completed there with our material applied, so let's move on to do our pin. Okay, so we've jumped in to do the pin. Um, uh, so I'm going to go on the front plane here. Now this is going to be a really quick um, model, so I'll just click the front plane and sketch on the front plane. I'm going to grab a circle here, go to that center point, drag it out. Now I know it is um, uh, there is no clearance between the bracket and the pin. 
So therefore the whole the circle or the pin must be the same size as that hole, which is ten. And then go to features, I'm gonna extrude it, and it only it goes back five mil. So I'm just gonna extrude that five mil. And tick. Okay, so we've got our pin in and we've got our um, bracket complete. We just need to apply material to this pin. So I'm after titanium, so I'm going to come down to titanium here. And I'm after um, a titanium with as close as I can find to 0.046. So that'll have to do us. 0.0465 there as our mass density. Apply that and close. So we've got our titanium with our material applied, or our pin with our material applied, sorry, should I say. Now let's look at assembling these together. Okay, so we've just loaded up an assembly here. Um, uh, so this is our, an our assembly template. Now we've got our bracket and our pin have come up down the side in our insert components as we load this up. So I want to import these straight into my model. So I want brackets and I want to import um, three of these in, but I'm going to start with the one at a time. So I'm going to get this first bracket in place and I want to get it fixed to a specific position first. So here, as I uh, put my first component in, it fixes it in place. I'm just going to right click on that and float that component. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this component's origin to the origin of the page. So if I click on origin here, and I go to mate. So it's picked up the origin of the page, um, which is right there. Now I want this to be on the origin of the component, which is right here. So I'm just going to drop down the information about this model, and I'm going to go to the origin there of this model here. And that will move them to be mated at the point on that edge there. Now if I tick there, and close that. That's my first component in place. I can now right click back on there and fix that component in place so it's not going to move anywhere. Now what I'm left with doing now is putting in two more brackets and two pins. So if I go to insert component, I'm going to just drag in a couple of brackets. And then the same again with two pins. So it's a component. One. And two. Like so. Okay, so we've now got all our parts on our page. We can now start to um, put them into place for our model. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this outside edge of this first pin. I'm going to make that the outside edge of this first bracket here and get that fixed in place like so. Tick there. Now if I come around to the back here, I can click this outside edge and I can click this inside edge here. And that should make them together. Now, what you'll find if I pull that, it moves around which is perfectly fine because what I want to do is I want to mate up this so that it's for offset at 45 degrees. So I'm going to click that line there and I'm going to click that line there and they are lining up now. So what I want to do is create an angle between them two of um, drop down here 45 degrees like so. And we've got that there in place at 45 degrees. So the next thing I'm going to do is put my next pin in. So go to mate. Oh, go to mate. Get the edge of that pin there, and the edge of that circle of the bracket. 
and tape to connect them together. With that then, I'm just going to put this last component in, this last bracket. So I'm going to attach that edge of that circle to the inside edge of this hole. And again, they are now connected up. And tick there. Okay, um, what we need to do is just offset this at 45 degrees. So I'm after an offset between that line there and that line there. I want them offset at 50, 45 degrees. So come down, get the angle here, take that to 45 degrees, like so. Tick there, and we have our gap between each plane, between each face of our bracket of one mil and we have our 45 degrees offset like so so if I just turn that into a view where we can see the bottom a little bit better there we go and that's our finished product we are just asked to find out where the center of mass of this component is so I'm going to exit the make tool here I'm going to come to the evaluate tab and I'm going to go to mass properties now, what I want to find is the centre of mass in millimetres, which is this bit here. So my centre of mass, 20.75, 24.33, and minus 40.24. Okay, so let's go back to our original question. And we've got here the centre of mass options. And we are looking at part D there. 20.75, 24.33, 40.24. Now, this isn't a massive issue. The one in the that we got from our model is minus 40.24. That just means it's modelled acting in the opposite direction in Z. So, working in the minus direction is not an issue whatsoever. It's just that we need to know that because we've modelled it in the opposite direction to Z, we need our answer to be the positive rather than the negative. Not really an issue, but that is our set of values. Okay, so. Um, that is our CSWA question complete. Hopefully you've enjoyed that and you've found something useful for that. Um, have a go at these tutorials. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you are a continuing visitor, please give us a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.